everyone! I'm Rachel from Rachel Tutors Online, and today I'm going to introduce you to the QCOP method of reading. This was a method that was introduced to me by my ninth grade English teacher as a way to help my classmates and me further engage with the texts we were reading. Now, let's go over what QCOP stands for. The Q in QCOP stands for questions. Students can start by asking simple questions, such as what is the setting of the story, or who is the protagonist of the story. However, they are encouraged to ask more thought-provoking questions as the book continues, such as what is the motive behind this character's actions? The C in QCOP stands for comments. Comments are a way for students to share their personal reflections on what they're reading. Sometimes students who struggle with reading comprehension have a hard time associating the events in a book to real life. This is where students can make note of any changes in their mood based on the events in a story, or they can take note of their ability to empathize with a certain character. They might even be able to share their surprise in being able to empathize with a certain character. These are the types of things that would be written in the comments section. The O in QCOP stands for observations. Observations are simply things that students notice while they are reading. This could be anything from a change in the setting or a shift in the relationship between two main characters. And let's not forget the P. The P in QCOP stands for predictions. Predictions are what students believe will happen next in the story, and this is based on textual evidence. This will encourage students to make sure that they are drawing conclusions based on the text itself. For example, a student might consider something that will happen in the next chapter because of an example of foreshadowing in the current chapter. Side note, we'll be talking more about foreshadowing in my next video for literary devices. So the next time your student is reading a book, please encourage them to try the QCOP method of reading and see how much more engaged they are with the text. If you like this video and you would like to know more reading strategies to help your student, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.